It's me again, Rini, and I'm here back to do my thing on Do Your Thing. And today we have an extra special episode because I do have a celebrity guest that I'm about to meet. And he is none other than the one and only British Jamaican superstar. He's had a whole bunch of hits, top of the charts, pop charts, reggae charts all over the world. He's just come up with his new album called Easy to Love. The man some of you might know with I just wanna be close to you. Does that ring a bell? Let's have a quick chat with the one and only Maxi Priest. Hello. Hey, how are you? So good to finally be here with you in this beautiful park. Mm -hmm. A rather unconventional setting, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when you, you know, even started singing and songwriting? And you know, well, I'm from a family of nine brothers and sisters. My, um, I'm the second to last of nine. Hmm. You know, and at home, I was always uh, encouraged to sing, to perform. You know, I remember as kids, we used to always kind of make, create our own kind of uh, entertainment. My mother was always singing. My mother was a missionary in Pentecostal church. Oh, wow. So for me, my, my career started from home to church to the school playground to um, playing in, in parties and clubs in, on a sound system. You know, I, I was signing autographs and stuff like that from... Uh, playing in parties and clubs on a sound system and um, that was when a lot of major record companies were uh, finding an interest in uh, what we were doing around the Saxon sound system. Wow, so you're basically a born star is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not in so much words but um, I feel as though I'm blessed. I'm right now here, here doing your thing with me sitting on the grass. I mean, this is, I have Watching to say. Watching some squirrels and some birds pass by. Yeah, I mean, it it's doesn't good. get any more real and, and, you know, amazing than this. I mean, I have to say, I feel like I'm floating just sitting next to you. <laughs> but, you know, you've definitely been someone who's uh, been very uh, successful in adapting, uh, you know, to all kinds of uh, interesting styles of, uh, you know, even in playing with reggae music. You're the R&B reggae. Uh, icon. Well, I've never tried to uh, pigeonhole this art and I keep saying art because everybody seems to want to find a label for me mm -hmm. and <laughs> my thing is if you're gonna label the thing, label it, label it my name, especially what I do, label it as Maxi Priest because you're not quite sure what I may do next. I grew up listening to reggae music which is uh, a, a serious uh, part of my culture, right? a part of my existence. Um, you know, uh, growing up in England, in a predominantly white country, um, you, you know, we went through our racism problems and stuff like that. And reggae music gave us a lifeline, uh, helping us to understand that we were somebody. There was, we had a sense, we had a purpose. We had a sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. We, 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 uh, you know, it gave us a sense of belonging. Absolutely. You know? And um, I guess because of that, I held on to that as really my lifeline. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the appreciation of the art allowed me to uh, learn from other different genres of music. You know, when you're performing and, and you have obviously thousands of people in the crowds, um, how do you feel? I mean, you know, I, I've seen you perform live and, and, you know, your energy, it's just larger than life. I mean, really, I want to know what's going through your head when you're on stage and, you know, just 
doing your thing. That to me is a spiritual connection. Being able to um, create uh, something from a, a, a blank piece of paper and then to go on stage and, and hear folks uh, sing the lines of something that you've written and put together as a, as a song is my high. That's my high. That is the highest of high that I could even ask or dream of asking for on a um, or in a performance. Have you ever felt or experienced while you're performing or, or when you're singing or recording that you know um, that there's a there's another force or, or, or something else that's just taken over and it's not even you anymore? The spiritual vibe that that takes over in uh, creativity and also in music and performance um, that's the high that I'm talking about. You've, you've traveled and you've performed a lot internationally mm -hmm. um, which, um, which country did you uh, you know travel to last that you would say has been something uh, you know, memorable for you or something impressionable? I was so close to India. <laughs> that, um, and, and, and you know that um, India is, is a place that I really, really want to go. Mm -hmm. Sri Lanka has been a, a wonderful experience for me and one that I will treasure and, always, and remember for life. Um, I, 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 I travel the world and, and I tell people about my experience of, of Sri Lanka. Is that right? I honestly do. Wow. Um, Sri Lanka, I hope you're listening. <laughs> what are your future plans? Um, I'm in the process of uh, doing a book. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wow. See Jamaica Through My Eyes. Um, other than that, you know, I'm, I'm into a bit of real estate and stuff like that. Ah, okay. But um, for me, it's just this beautiful life that I live in music. You know, it, 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 every day there's something new for me in this music world. Speaking of live, I mean, you know, you're all over the place. You know, it's, it's, it's almost mm. impossible to get you. <laughs> where do you live? <laughs> um, I said, or where all do you live? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm a world Gillian, but if, if I'm going to say, uh, you know, in, in the common way of saying how it's where somebody lives, I guess is I live between England. Mm -hmm. Jamaica and, and New York oh. and America. That's my triangle. But the world is my God. Brilliant. So it's that time of the show where you got to do your thing, Max. So is it going What's to What's my be... thing? Well, come on. Now, you don't need to. What's your thing exactly? I mean, is there anything else that I don't know that's your thing? <laughs> <laughs> Play some soccer. Oh, is that right? Mm. What do I say here? Yeah. So you can sing it. <laughs> what do I say here? Um, baby, I've been up and down. This whole world I've been around. Something special in you I found. You lift me up when I am down. You make it easy. Easy to love you, baby. You make it easy, easy to rock the world. Woo! <laughs> My name's Maxie Priest, and don't forget, do your thing right here. <laughs> Get in the game, 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 get in the game